I'm going to start with just going straight into the plugins. So there's two I recommend for Corrupted Gauntlet. The first one is surprisingly the Gauntlet plugin. Yeah. So once it's installed, go into the settings and make sure that the track resources box is checked and copy over all the values I have here. And then also go into the Hunlef panel and tick the box to outline Hunlef. The second plugin is called Hunlef Helper. And what this will do is it will help you keep track of what you should be praying against when you are fighting the Hunlef. I'll explain more on that later, but just install it for now. When you enter the gauntlet, you will always spawn in the resource room right next to the Hunlef. And the goal is to walk around all the rooms, which are all randomly generated, and get resources to make armor and weapons and food to take down the Hunlef. One thing to note though, is that even though the rooms are random, there are set rooms where the demi bosses can spawn. So take note of these because these bosses are how you upgrade your weapons to the corrupted version. So the first plan of action when you enter the gauntlet is to run in a circle around the resource room to quickly scout what is around you. And you want to make sure to peek into the boss rooms as you get close to them so that you can also see if you have any bosses close to you and which bosses there are. The goal in the first pass is to aim to get four of each resource, one weapon frame, two grim roots, and any fish you can find. Now, the chance of getting everything in one run is, is very low, but just that's the goal. Get as much as you can and then circle back to the resource room. After you complete the circle and you make it back to the resource room, you want to cook any fish you have and then instantly drop them to make some inventory space. Then you want to go to the crystal bowl and you want to make a weapon. And the weapon you make is dependent on what bosses you scouted. So if you found a dark beast, make a bow. If you found a dragon, make a staff. If you found a bear, just don't worry about it. The bear is for the halberd, which is melee, and I would skip that while learning because it makes it a lot harder. If you didn't find and like if you didn't find a dark beast or a dragon just either make a bow or a staff it doesn't really matter once you make your weapon click on it again to upgrade it to the attuned version and then use any resources and crystal shards left to make as much armor as you can and at least two vials the last thing you want to do before you start on your second pass is to fill up the vial with water and then add the grim roots to that to make the unfinished potion use a crystal shard on the pestle and mortar to get the crystal dust and then finally add the crystal dust to the unfinished potion to get potions that act as prayer potions and stamina potions and these are very useful before the second pass because it allows you to have basically infinite run energy the goal here is to finish collecting everything and kill the bosses to upgrade your weapons to the final tier you want seven of each resource total as this is the amount you need to get full tier two armor Go kill a Dark Beast and a Dragon. If you didn't find any in your first pass, you will have to scout around to the other edges of the map where the demi bosses can spawn and keep going around the map until you are able to find both of them. Make sure to pick up the orb from the dragon when it dies and the string from the Dark Beast. Once you have everything, go back to the resource area, upgrade all of your armor to tier 2, create your second weapon, and upgrade both weapons to fully perfected. Use any remaining time after you've gotten everything to get any more food you may need and to organize your inventory and get ready for the fight. So the Hunlef attacks with range and magic. She always begins the fight with her range attack, so you always want to enter praying range. Now, every four attacks that she sends out, she will swap attack styles and this continues for the whole fight. You need to be praying correctly at all times or you will get destroyed. This is where the Hunlef Helper plugin can help you a lot. So how it works is you have the plugin open and as soon as you get hit by the first range attack, you click the start button. Every time Hunlef is about to swap attack styles, you will get a nice little audio cue and it will tell you exactly when to swap prayers. Two, one, mage. As long as you listen to the audio cue and swap prayers when it tells you to, you don't have to worry about this too much and you can focus your attention to the other mechanic. Hunlef is always praying against a certain combat style, and when you hit her with 7 attacks, she will swap to protect against the weapon you're currently using. So you have to keep swapping between your staff and your bow every 7 hits to make sure to keep consistent DPS. 
Also, one thing to keep in mind is that when she is attacking you with her magic attack, there is a chance she will throw a purple orb at you. When this hits you, it will disable your prayers, so make sure to turn them back on right away. After some time, some tornadoes will spawn around the map, and these will slowly move towards you. These are pretty straightforward, you just have to walk away and not get hit by them and you won't take any damage. The last thing you want to watch out for is the floor. So the floor, the tiles are always changing color, and once they turn orange, you will start taking a lot of damage for standing on them. So just always make sure to constantly be moving and not standing on any of these orange tiles. And that is the video guys. I know the Corrupted Gauntlet is very frustrating, it's annoying to learn, but keep trying, I believe in you. Once you get the muscle memory down, it's easy peasy. If you liked the video, remember to like it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. It means a lot and it shows me that you want me to make more videos. If you have any more suggestions for videos you want me to make, please feel free to leave a comment and I might just make it. Thanks.